Dear learners, we are going to learn about the principles of levers and its application. First, we should know what the lever is. Lever is nothing but a rigid body that consists of three aspects namely axis, force and weight. In fact, the concept of the lever is to make the task easier. There are three types of levers, first class, second class and third class. The difference between the three classes depends on where the axis is and where the weight is and where the force is placed. In first class lever, axis is always at the middle. The weight and the force is placed at its two extreme ends. If axis is altered towards the weight, then the force arm will be greater and hence force will be generated greater. If the axis is altered towards the force, then the weight arm will be greater. By this way, speed will be triggered. In the second class lever, the weight is always in the middle. Example, nut cutter. In third class lever, the force is always in the middle. For example, arm curl. Let us apply these concepts in the field of sports. For example, pole vault. And thus, body becomes the weight at the one end and the axis is at the other end. What is in the middle? Yes, force. Then it belongs to third class lever. Second example is basketball shooting. And thus, the ball becomes the weight and elbow joint becomes the axis and biceps plus deltoid muscle becomes the force. Which one is at the middle? Yes, axis. Then it belongs to the first class lever. Education is not learning of facts to memorize, but training of minds to think. Hope these illustrations made us to think and ability to identify the types of levers which they belong. Thank you.